My friend, I pray that you're having a blessed week and a blessed day in that week. There has been a lot reported recently about negative news in the newspapers and on TV. When we have bad feelings about ourselves, bad feelings about our society, bad feelings about our nation, or bad feelings about our world, we can't always blame it on newspapers or the broadcast media. It is a vital part of their work to broadcast the news as it comes in. Now, there may be isolated cases of bad reporting, but there is something more important that is involved. And what is more important? It is our reaction to what we see and what we hear. As spiritual people, we have to remain positive about tomorrow. We live in a planet that is populated by millions, and these people, these societies, or nations, they cover a wide range. We're required to look at what happens, but also to remember quickly that good people, good intentions, and positive actions are still prevalent in the world. They're the majority. We focus so much on what the small minority is doing wrong. Franklin Delano Roosevelt once said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. I've always liked that. We have to, as spiritual people, go beyond momentary fears. We have to maintain a positive outlook and believe in something more than just the appearance of what seems to be. We have to look to God and hold to our faith, hold to our belief, and know that with God, even seemingly impossible things can turn out to be a blessing and to be good. God bless you, and God bless your day and your week.